Back here at halftime, well, the Speedway Spark Plugs lead the 18-2 lapel Bulldogs by a score of 14-12. Real quickly, and I mean real quickly because it's not going to take much time, scoring so far for lapel, John Ross Richardson leading with eight points, Cameron Harrington with two, and Tristan Carpenter with two. For the Spark Plugs, four people have scored. Andrew Fritz leads the Speedway scoring with seven points. Jacob Jones, a field goal and a free throw for three. Deshaun Hampton, two. Shannon Hall, two, for a total of 14. Coach, box of the first half. Well, I'm, I think Speedway deserved to win the first half. I think Jimmy Howell, the Bell's coach, is not going to be very happy that their kids were out hustled a little bit and it's probably going to be a wake-up call for them which may not be a bad thing for them you know you're 18 and 2 but he i'm sure he told them that's not going to get it done that's not going to end the way you want to end if we can't get a little better uh, a little better effort i know they're not shooting well so i'm anxious to see how the first couple minutes of the third quarter turns out i think we're playing harder we've played harder all year and i friends of our kids I think there's going to be a couple of keys here. Number one, Shannon Hall has got to stay away from his fourth foul. Uh, that's not easy to do. Playing no. with three fouls, you got to be, got to know what's going on. And I've said many times before, we just have to make sure we do not give them a big run. We've done a nice job so far. I think we're up seven to nothing. And they had one run, but you know they're going to have a run. Every good team has at least one run and a half. And well, let's hope we can keep Shannon out of foul trouble. Yeah. I'm anxious to see what kind of adjustments the teams may have made as well. Find out right now. No, I wouldn't be surprised if they don't try to speed the game up. I, I would completely agree with that. We'll see. John Hampton inside block by number 34, Brady Smith. That's Carpenter's fourth point on the night. And you're right, I think we're going to see LaPel try to speed this game up. Chris Valentine on the miss. Nice block out by Shannon Hall. Very nice. Good alley pass. Good. John Hampton on a miss. I think Deshaun Hampton's done a great unsung oh, job too. He's, I know he's not scored a lot of points tonight, but he does a lot of things that are very, very good. He's blocked at least two shots. He very gives unselfish. Us, player. Gives us that presence inside. That Absolutely. It'll be Deshaun's first trip to the line. He'll be shooting two. First one is in. Second one is in. Sean only a junior. Wow. Great, great move by Harrington, but also a great move I thought by the side. Harrington will be at the line for two. He's our leading scorer, averaging 15.2 and missed the free throw. He's clearly frustrated a little bit. Yep. Some of it's because of us. So Absolutely. Nice we have frustrated them so far on both ends of the floor. We've been patient. Second one is no good. We're going 
get to Sean Hampton on a foul. Maybe a little acting on that, but I, I do believe he lowered his shoulder. That's great pass from Fritz to the winner, or Jacob Jones, I mean. Uh, doing a lot of good things, Ron. Doing a lot of good things. That's the Sean's third foul, so he and Shannon Hall both looking at three fouls. I don't think the Pugs want to go to a zone defense, Coach, but with your two big guys with three fouls, they might be forced to. Rebound pulled up by Shannon Hall. Coaching football, it, it's hard to shorten the game in terms of doing things that, unless you can run the ball real well, right. basketball, you can do this. You can shorten Without the game. Without a shot clock, yeah. Absolutely. Without a shot clock and against a good team, this is what we got to be able to do. And we've done a great job of it so far. We do not have to be in a hurry. Jacob Jones. Very nice. Jacob's fifth point on the night. 18-14, Speedway. Three-pointer. Missed by Tristan Carpenter. Carpenter did a nice job of taking the ball to the player that had three fouls. Intelligent play. Chan Hall picked up his fourth. Renzo did a nice job in the first half, I yes, thought. Yes, he did. I thought he did a great job. Hopefully we can get a steal or two. Gets us a few baskets. I believe we're going to get Jacob Jones on the foul. Jacob Jones is first. At the line, she's the Justin Carpenter. first free throw is good. Plugs all of a sudden, five team fouls, and we're not even halfway through the third quarter. Jones a miss from the corner, but off the hands of number 54 Carpenter. Good effort by Smith again. Good effort. Smith on a miss. Rebound off to the Bulldogs. Travel on the Bulldogs. I think Coach Howe is very frustrated because I've been watching his body language and yeah, they're they're not shooting well. No. They haven't shot well this quarter and they didn't shoot well the first no. half and and I think that's a big part of their game. Yep. You mentioned that earlier. That would have been a good battle. Well, we're right there. Another turnover by the Bulldogs. 
pass from Fritz to Jones. And I think we're going to get Jacob Jones on the foul, and I believe he did. Now all of a sudden we're looking at Lapel going into the bonus on the next free throw, on the next foul. That's Smith's first first points, first points of the night. Pulls the Bulldogs within two. Coach, the game's either gotten more physical or the officials are calling, calling more fouls. Testing just about everything. It's, yep. uh, been an impact on this game tonight. Jacob's ninth point on the night and takes the lead back to four. Number 14, Richardson fouled by Deshaun Hampton. I believe that's... That's Deshaun's four. So we got Deshaun on the bench with four. Shannon Hall on the bench with four. And it looks like Dominique Hampton coming into the game. Both free throws are good. Bell showed a little 1-3-1 there. Yeah, I noticed that. They, uh, I'm surprised. I'm a little surprised they haven't done more of that. Well, at this point in the game, you've almost got to believe they're going inside on about every position. Right. At least taking the ball inside at least once. Our two starting forwards on the bench with four fouls. There's a break. Yeah. I can hear Coach Bennett yelling, pulled out. That evens up the foul situation a little bit. That's good. Chris Carpenter inbound it. Excuse me, Chris Valentine will inbound it. I think I was in the baseball mood there. Chris, <laughs> Chris, Chris Carpenter. Carpenter. Turnover against the Plugs. 22 to 20, they lead with a minute and a half to go in the third quarter. Three-pointer miss, rebound, Dominic Hampton. I 
think Coach Bennett sensed that turnover. So here. He's got a quick timeout. So when do you put when do you put our two forwards back? Well, well, that's a nice thing about coaching from up here. Oh yeah, you never oh, yeah. lose a game. Um, certainly into the fourth quarter. Now I think it depends on a couple things. If Rappel makes a run before then I do, but I don't put them both in at the same time. I put one in just in case he fouls out that I can bring the other one back in. But I would not bring them in at the same time. That, yeah, you got to give Dominique Hampton yeah. and you got to give Lorenzo Smith some credit. Yep. Played two minutes. We've done a oh, really absolutely. good job. Admirable job. Uh, no, not at least until the fourth quarter. And then I, I would be careful. However, I would say this. For us to win the game, I think we're going to need them on the floor at some point. Uh, nothing against this group. You said they've played hard. They've done some good Very things. Hard. But I believe we're going to have to have the two big boys make some plays to win the game. That's a tough one. That is a tough one there. Under a minute, remaining in the quarter. Good exchange. Take a Jones on a driving layup, his eighth point of the quarter. He's been a fireball for he us. Has. Today. Rebound to Hampton. 17 seconds. Lorenzo Smith. I, I would believe that bucket counted. Well, Ron, I really think Coach Bennett's got to be happy with oh, Dominique Hampton and Lorenzo Smith. I mean, they. They did a great job, and you're getting a little more, it looks like to me, out of Jacob Jones. Uh, maybe he's evolving more as a scorer, but he's a, he's a true athlete. I think he can, uh, I think he can definitely help us down the field. They have. They've held the fort down. Not judging. It's certainly Bulldogs had a state championship in 2005. Got a tremendous coach. But boy, I'd be throwing that ball inside. I And now we do have both big guys on the floor. Coach Ben did put them in the same time. Well, their shooting woes certainly have hurt them today. Sure. You mentioned that early in the early But we can't game. afford to foul inside, and I just can't believe they're not going inside at some point. Nice job by Stan Hall. And all of a sudden, Speedway's up 28-22. And up until this point, they have had no answer for what we've done. No foul. Boy, they just cannot. Yeah, they just can't. They can't cannot hit the puck. Right now. There's a 1-3-1 again. 
Fritz on the baseline, no good. Back in, he scores. That's all Jacob Jones there. All Jacob Jones. Timeout, Mikkel. Seven minutes remaining, Speedway 30, Lapel 22. I don't know. Coach, we're playing well, we're playing hard. Kids have played real hard tonight. Um, I still think at some point, Bulldogs are going to have to try to make an effort to get the ball inside. I, I think our inside players are better, but we can't afford the foul inside. Yeah, looking back on this chart, chart that we right. have here, uh, you know, the, the Carpenter kid has, I mean, he's dominated inside. I know he's a 6'4", 6'5", senior, and we're not letting him do that tonight. And that's really helping. Our kids have frustrated yeah, him in many absolutely. ways. Absolutely. Pointer miss. Continue to go outside. Well, half court, three quarter court trap. Speedway will be in the bonus. Taking out Deshaun Hampton, I kind of agree with that. Trying to stretch this out as far as we can without. Big free throw right there. Yes. That was Chris's first trip to the line tonight. Nice move by number 10. Yep. Anytime you reach, Coach. Yeah, when you get it inside, it's tough. Anytime. And if, a lot of times, if you don't even make contact, it's going to look like you fouled, and that's a bad way of putting it, but I think it was a foul. Richardson hits the first one. It's his 11th point. He leads LaPelle in scoring. He is six for six from the line tonight. So that's one guy we don't want to put up there. Great pass. Nice pass. That was textbook on how to beat a 1-3-1. 32 to 24. Kids are just a step quicker tonight than LaPelle. Yeah, That's we are. A You're step quicker. It's an eight-point lead for Speedway. A chance to go to double figures here. Point in the game, Coach, where Jimmy Howell 
Five and a half minutes to go, down eight, down eight, might be ten. I'm going to have to try something different. Yeah, I would think so. I mean, what's work for what's not work for three and a half quarters? No, not work. I don't. Uh, their, their press is a token press. And yeah. I, I don't know. I don't know if they have another upgraded press in the in the playbook, but uh, we've done a good job. That's yes, we right. have. Shannon Hall hits both free throws and Speedway up by ten. 34-24, five and a half minutes. I can hear the coaches on the bench yelling, don't reach Shannon. Another miss, but a rebound. A lot of offensive rebounds on that possession. Interesting to see how Coach Bennett is doing substitution. Hampton back into the game now. Every time there's a loose ball or a play inside, I kind of lose my breath. Hoping it. Yeah, but you know, it's hard to. Oh, I know. You know how it is. Oh, I you want kids to do that. That was a line drive. Okay, what we're kind of doing now, Coach, really early, but we have no choice. We're substituting for defensive purposes. Right. Uh, usually that that happened about two minutes ago in the game, but with with a foul situation, great move on the Speedway coaching staff part. Andrew on the miss. Another miss by the Bulldogs. Outlet, this might go down. Speedway by 12. Speedway by 14. Very good. things to say coach this is first of all it's a lot of fun this is a group that deserves a lot of good like this. yeah i think so too i'm i'm really impressed by this the smith kid that i and the hampton kid that came off the bench those kids who didn't start they played a lot of minutes tonight and contributed not just Absolutely. been out there and those two breakaways that we got are both that's going to ignite our kids, I think. So we have four, about four and a half minutes to go. Game is not over. Uh, Speedway's up by, excuse me, up by 14 points. But you got to believe there's some pride in the team that's wearing the black uniform tonight. We're going to have to take care of the basketball and hit free throws. his ninth point. Just take care of it, guys. Right. I think that's a big... Well, I think that's a tremendous break for us. I think what? I think... Uh, Accidental, but I would have had to have 
call that again. By the way, the possession arrow does favor the foul in case of a jump ball. Speedway will be shooting bonus. The foul will be shooting double bonus on the next fouls. We don't have to be in a hurry. Puts on the drive, gets fouled. Andrew O for one for the line tonight. However, Andrew is one of our best free throw right, shooters. 72%. 72%. It's the second one. Richardson, his 15th point on the night, pulls the Bulldogs to within 10. I mentioned this before. I heard a coach one time, forget who it was, but talking about a situation like this at the end of the game, he told his team these are stoplight situations. Green light is, you can shoot whenever. When you get a case like this, you're either yellow light or red light. Red light is layups only. And we're at least in the yellow light situation. Yeah, I think we, so too. We can win this game with made free throws. Still a lot of time left, but... However, we got to hit him. Yeah, I think... I think Lapel's going to... We're going to have to help him. Yeah. That's what I think. Yeah. I, and we've done a good job of milking the clock for 30, 45 seconds and getting to the free throw line. I mean... We're going to have to hit some free throws, though. And misses them both. Take it. You can't. If you, if you grab hold, they're going to call it. I believe that's four fouls on Jacob. Richardson going to the line where he is six for six. I'm trying to put the jinx on the coach. Didn't work. Seven for seven from the line. 
And that pulls the Bulldogs back within nine. Far from over. I just got my strategy, Coach, if I'm lapel. I'm putting John Ross Richardson inside, give the ball to him, and either get fouled or go from there. Because he's... Well, I think they got to win it defensively. They got, yeah. They've got to force us to make a mistake. They're just a tip away from that. That was a good foul. That was a good hard foul. Jacob one for two on from the line tonight. Everything from now in the game will be two shot fouls. Fourth quarter, coach, we're three for ten from the line. That's not good enough. No. Alright, play old defense. Plugs by nine, two and a half minutes. points for Brady Smith, his fifth. And I believe that's going to be Deshaun Hampton's fifth foul, I believe. I think it's before the basket, though. That's a good thing. Two big free throws here. Yeah. There you go. How many points does he have for that? Uh, he's got five points, six points? Two points. This is number 10. Number 10. Yep. And he's missed a bunch of free throws yeah. as well. He didn't miss that one. Six point lead, minute 53 to go. Anyway, looking to pull a major upset. Bulldogs are going to have to foul. I think so. I think they're not, I don't think they're quite quick enough to, to force the turnovers they'd like. Make a few free throws. Jacob Jones hits him close. A great job. Bugs by eight, minute 28.
tip in by number 54, Carpenter. Lead is down to six. We've done a good job so far handling the ball. I mean, they, we haven't had really many force yeah. turnovers at all. I mean, I mean, we've had a few, and you're going to have a few, but our kids have done a nice job. Yes, they have. John Hampton on the bench with five fouls. Jacob Jones with four. Shannon Hall with four. Three for five from the line. Very good. Two Very big good. ones. You don't have to shoot threes now, don't you? I would think. Yeah, we do. Yeah, I do. They do. Looking at our free throw shooting uh, in the fourth quarter, Ken Hall's four for six, Jacob Jones three for four. Five point lead. Get the ball in first. Good quick foul by LaPel. Chris Valentine shooting 72% from the line on the gear. Well, he needs to make one here. He needs to make one. Game's now at two possession. They've won. Six point lead, 55 seconds. We don't need to foul. That's a tough shot. Get in there, Andrew. You got it. Speedway by eight. 30 seconds. Rebound, Jones. On Jacob. Speedway by nine. Carpenter two. Twenty seconds remaining. Speedway forty eight. L forty one. I certainly think. 
receiver. He's played awfully well. Yeah, he's played way. awfully hard. I don't think, I think he's mentioned it early. The Bell didn't have an answer. And I know when you don't shoot well, maybe that, maybe that really makes your problems much, much worse. And that's kind of what happened to the Bell tonight. Yes. He got frustrated and uh, had some off nights, which is going to happen. We could be proud of our kids. Oh, so absolutely. quickly. Again, it's still a three possession game. Ken Hall and I, two field goals. Five free throws, big free throws. Got a nice job, yeah. nice job rebounding, nice job staying out there. Plus he had to handle the ball. Yeah. Yes, he's the guy who brought the ball up, which is. Folks, the spark plugs are going to upset the number, I believe one team in the state in 2A. There might be one or two. Great win for Speedway. Right. Well, they deserved it tonight. They deserved it. I mean, this was not. Uh, this was no fluke. They no. deserved it. They outplayed him. They out hustled him. Yep. Outshot him. Handled the ball much better than we have, I think. And pretty neat. Great. Great win. Final score, Speedway 51, Capel 41. We're going to be back with the jubilant Coach Bennett in just a little bit.